What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel Beach Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, as if losing your career, managers, agents, lawyers, and more, now Jason Mitchell, that alleges he never did anything to any female, has been evicted from his home for, of course, not paying them bills. Now, in the footage obtained by Gossip in the City, Jason Mitchell's personal belongings are thrown across his yard, and it's just downright embarrassing. Now, many of y'all that actually have followed Jason Mitchell's short career, he was actually born in 1987. He is best known for portraying Easy e in the 2015 biopic Straight Outta Compton. In 2017, he also starred in the blockbuster Skull Island as well as dramas Detroit and Mudbound. He's also had roles in Contraband, Broken City, both of which actually starred Mark Wahlberg. Now the crazy thing is, man, he was actually dropped in May of 2019 from a number of projects, including Desperados and The Shot in the wake of multiple allegations of misconduct. Now he actually later went on to The Breakfast Club to try to clear his name, but however, you know, his clearing statements actually did not make a whole lot of sense whatsoever. Now Tiffany Boone did actually speak out and she basically didn't really go along with the same story that Jason Mitchell went on. Just because she actually didn't point out anything directly, I think she was pretty much in fear for her life because the man seemed like he was a little off. And some of y'all that follow the channel here, man, I actually did break that news, man. I'm going to give y'all a couple of recaps on the particular incident. And all of this, man, that actually led to Jason Mitchell's downfall in Hollywood. Y'all check this out. Peeps, do you like to smell amazing on a budget? Well, Scentbird is a monthly subscription service that gives you the opportunity to sample from over 600 brands in the fragrance, cosmetic, skincare, and wellness categories. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance for women and men to try every month for just $15. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply. That's more than you'll get in a trial value you get at the store. You can even upgrade to receive two or three products a month. And Scentbird partners with all the top brands like Prada, Gucci, and Tom Ford, as well as any labels like Glossier, Ness, and Telka. So you know you're getting 100% authentic scents all the time. And they have cologne and perfume too, so you can order it for him and her. Plus, they have products from other categories like skincare, wellness, makeup, candles, bath and body. They carry brands such as Kopari, Glam Glow, Glow Receipt, Tarte, and more. All the products can be part of your subscription. Now, this month, I actually tried Creation E by Roja Perfume. Now, that personally is my favorite, man. I absolutely love the smell. If you fellas, man, if that is the perfect smell for you, if you want to go out and really impress the ladies. Now, also, there was Composition number 6 by Joya. Now, that one was pretty good as well. It wasn't, to me, it actually wasn't as good as the Roja, but it's still a great scent also. Now, also try Scandal by Roja Perfumes, and that one is definitely bomb also. Make sure y'all use my coupon code Lionel30, and it will give you 30% off. It's just $10 for your first month. Sign up now. Now, it looks like, man, Lena Waithe, man, she's actually the creator for the Showtime show, The Shy. 
she basically went on breakfast club man and blasted jason mitchell man now it appears man some of y'all may have heard that information some of y'all may have not know what's going on exactly with jason mitchell but apparently man he was actually dropped from season three of the shy and also a netflix movie entitled desperados now the reason why he actually got dropped for these shows man is because of his accusations of misconduct now misconduct is actually putting it lightly but uh just to make a long story short he's a perv now basically according to several sources man he actually acts very inappropriately on the set now as far as the shy go he was actually on there and apparently he was making tiffany boone feel some type of way now lena basically was indicating man that she had several facetime phone calls with tiffany and tiffany was kind of letting her know like yo this is going on this is going on at the end of season one so when season two came back man they sat down with them you know apparently they had to go to hr look i didn't even know actors had an hr department that's news for me but yeah man so they sat down with hr you know and they were trying to get it resolved so they basically walked out of there and everything was cool from that point it was kind of like okay well we will still work together on season two we're gonna make this thing pop off but apparently man what happened was uh, mr mitchell man he got upset because he was actually exposed so he felt some type of way and basically he you know he let it be known that he don't like snitches like all i was trying to do was grab some asses and then you want to go snitch on me you know what i mean definitely foul man now also man ayana floyd man she's actually the showrunner that lena waith actually hired now the showrunner man she's basically talked about her experiences and she was indicating that lena waith was made aware of those complaints against the actor prior to him initially being kept on the show for the third season now if y'all look at jason's instagram man he actually posted on there saying he was excited about season three this was all may the first and it's crazy because he did not get renewed to come back on the season three so now he's looking kind of like a duck he actually haven't even posted anything on instagram since that day i'm pretty sure he's hurt hopefully he's in some type of rehab place man where he can get some type of rehab for not being a perv i don't even know if that's a thing but he definitely needs help so even lena waith actually indicated man that the dude does need some help and for her she will definitely never ever work with him again now on their instagram man they were showing a lot of love man he actually put out one time he's like yo i love you and she was like yo i love you too this is all on may 1st you know when the news broke about season three but then all of a sudden he got dropped because he's a perv now yana floyd basically came out man and she was saying when i took the helm in season two it was lena who informed me of the issues between jason mitchell and tiffany boone from season one and that tiffany was thinking of leaving the show because of it as a result of this information i discussed tiffany's claim with the studio's hr department and set up hr presentations for the writers cast and crew ultimately everyone was well aware of jason's behavior and it's multiple hr cases including lena the creator and executive producer of the show who is very involved in the studio and the network now boone actually played the girlfriend of mitchell's character now that's probably definitely the worst role to actually have because you're actually linked with somebody that obviously cannot control himself now the crazy thing is man that ayana ford who was actually the showrunner she said she even became a target of his rage and inappropriateness whenever she went to hr on him as well now a source of lena wave says she was only made aware of accusations against mitchell after the first season actually wrapped and that production was not aware that it continued after he was allowed to keep working now showtime was basically came out indicated man that they'd had no idea there was even a problem until mitchell was actually fired uh, the things that he was actually accused of was making highly inappropriate remarks to two actresses in the film while lingering close to their quarters so i can just kind of imagine man he was probably you know what i'm saying walked up to a lady was like yo i wonder what that thing feel like something really crazy and inappropriate man like i really you know what i'm saying didn't want to believe that dude was on that type of thing but it appears that he definitely is now now lena waith man she actually you could tell you know her and jason mitchell they did have a close relationship at some point but given all the things that you know he was actually accused of and her you know basically being fired from other shows as well i mean come on bro like something's gotta happen now she's indicated man she definitely wants jason to take a deep look into his life man he's got to change some things now 
he pretty much blackballed himself from Hollywood, bro. Like, if you really want to be a perv, man, you might want to be on BT Uncut and not with the actual TV show where you're making money and this is how you eat, man. Why would you get where you eat, bro? Like, you don't do that. That is the dumbest thing anybody could ever do in their career. You know, he gained some fame on the NWA uh, movie as playing Easy e And after that, man, he had a lot of promising roles, a lot of other things he was getting hired for. But you cannot control yourself around a female, bro. What is really going on with you? Now, Lena Waif did sit down with Charlemagne the God from The Breakfast Club. Man, I'm going to play a short little clip of some of the things she actually had to say about Jason. And it's definitely not good. Y'all check this out. I mean, I think to me, what I believe he has to do is really go work on himself and really look internally because this is a bigger issue. This is bigger than just my show. You know, this is some other things obviously going on, which I know nothing about this Netflix thing. I know nothing about why his agency dropped him. That stuff is very, very much outside of me. But all I know is that he, just on a human level, has to get right. He has to get right with himself. That's on him. That's his responsibility. I can't fix Jason Mitchell. But some of y'all may be wondering, man, if they were, in fact, at one point friends, did she ever, ever pull dude aside and be like, yo, homie, uh, you're messing up right now. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to know that as well, man. And she did address that. Also, I'm about to play this right here. Check this out. There was definitely a conversation where I called him and got really real, you know, and I, and I was just like, you know, and I think I even said something to the effect of like, treat women how you don't treat any woman any differently the way you would treat me. But that I, I still believe any all the women that have come forward and said he he did misbehave because I'm a person that believes women, you know. So ultimately, I don't care if he was somebody I was cool with or not. Like I I don't condone his behavior, um, and I never did. That's why because if I did, I would have kept it business as usual. Lionel B always says, if you don't want to make the news, don't do it. I'd have been like, oh, well, well, let's just see what happens. No, I literally changed the leadership on the show because I know that I'm not going to be on set every day. I know I'm not going to be there all the time. So I want to put people in power that look like me. This is something I do not stand for. I just don't. You know what I mean? And so I think what was frustrating is that I was... I, I wasn't, I wasn't, things weren't being communicated to me like daily about what was happening. And so I ended up getting a call once I think things had kind of gotten to a place where it wasn't, I, I, what I realized it sort of wasn't really being handled as best as it could have been. And, and that's really my biggest regret is that I was, I would have stepped in just in the middle of it and been like, yo, here's what I think, here's what I want to happen. But I never got that opportunity. So, but when I was, when, but here's, here's the biggest point is that when the studio came to me and said, yo, we really feel like we don't want him, we don't want to pick up the option. I said, I stand with y'all on that. Definitely, definitely, definitely crazy. Now, sometimes, man, the same lips that will kiss you is the same lips that will curse you. Now, it's definitely unfortunate that he got evicted from his home. I mean, nobody should want to wish that on anybody, regardless of what the situation was. I think he definitely needs to be rehabilitated, man. He definitely needs a lot of help. But yeah, I mean, of course, you know, I mean, if you're not paying your bills, of course, you're going to lose a whole bunch of things. So hopefully Duke can get his act together you know get into some type of therapy and then get his life back together so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this man don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the videos share these videos and i'm gonna peep y'all on the next one holla